I'm a retired principal officer and I worked in a wing. And I, it just amazes me how you ever escaped out of here. Well, what actually, how, how did you manage it? Well, we did it just like in the movies. We smuggled in hacksaw blades and made a rope out of our bed sheets. We put the rope around the bars and we abseiled down the wall. And I was afraid that maybe some prison officer doing a search or maybe from the centre would have spotted us either coming down the wall or crawling across the, mm -hmm. the garden. Yeah. Uh, now, if you had been in there, what would you have well, done? Well, first of all, there was two of you. So if I'd have been in here on my own, yes. my first line is my whistle, yes. which is a very high, shrill right. whistle. Well, it'll close the, the prison down. Yeah, OK. Tight as a drum, so tight you wouldn't have been able to move. This escape attempt, did you have any assistance from the IRA at all? I was helped from Republicans when I got out, but I had no help either from the escape committee or from the IRA itself. Well, there you are now. That's amazing. Yeah, That's isn't amazing. It, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Some of the people who were in charge of the IRA in the A-wing of the prison were not too happy with us for not asking permission. It was an unauthorised escape. Do you think you could manage it now? I'd, <laughs> I wouldn't like to try. <laughs> yeah, right. Are you OK well, there? I'll give you a hand. <laughs> I'm not giving you a hand to escape. Right, about here, I think we'll see. Will we put it here? No. no. That'll do. Sammy, thanks very much for this. Right, there you go. For making this facility available. Are you going to hold it at the bottom? Yes. That's terribly important. I think I'll do it, boy. You think so? Oh, honey. <laughs> Come on down, Don. I think I just... Yeah. I just stay about here. It's not 1960, Danny. Come on down, son. <laughs> come on down, Don. Danny? Yeah, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say if I got to the top of the wall that I could fly. That's all I wanted, to get to the top of that wall. It wasn't as easy as that. And I needed the rope to let me down a part of the wall. I put my weight on the rope. And the rope broke and John fell in down here. I fell out, injuring myself pretty badly. And he fell in and had no way of climbing up again on the wall because he was also injured. I thought to myself, this is it. Both of us are going to be caught after all our planning, all our work, and here we were both lying injured, he lying inside the prison and me lying outside the prison. When I was lying on the ground outside the jail, looking up to see where he was, I kept calling, John, John. I waited for several minutes, but there was no sign of him. So I knew then that something drastic had happened. And eventually, I had to go because if I was going to escape, I had to leave, and I had to leave him behind. That was the worst moment of the escape for me.